Well, the 19th CPC Central Committee has concluded a four-day plenary session in Beijing. The committee reviewed a work report and passed a resolution on the party's experiences and achievements. Many experts say the sixth plenum is a milestone and has set this, the tone for the new era for China. Stephen Ndegua, a Nairobi-based communications expert, spoke with CGTN's Daniel Arab Moy. Mr. Ndegua, for the sake of those who may not know or understand, what is the significance of the Central Committee of the Communist Party of China's plenary session? So for China, this is now all the people who have been given top responsibilities across the board in China, meeting to review what has happened over the last year and looking maybe at the current situation and where uh, they might need to go in the future. So once you get to know that this is the highest decision-making organ, then you will realize how important it is and even why it gets global attention. What do you mean when you talk of the country's march towards the Chinese dream? So I think the Chinese dream is that equality of sorts where everyone is catered for and no one hungers amidst the national wealth in the country. What lessons can African countries learn from the CPC plenary sessions? So I think what the CPC shows us, or the CPC success in that case shows us, is that we can have our own homegrown uh, mode of democracy. It's going to be a long journey. It has taken CPC 100 years to finally bring China into greatness. So I think for us, we also need to take time and study our cultures and so forth. To what extent do decisions arrived at the CPC plenary session impact on Africa? Uh, the socio-economic and political linkages between Africa and China are growing uh, and they're becoming deeper. Um, we are looking towards uh, FOCAC you know, in Senegal uh, at the end of this month. And so I think a lot of the issues that were discussed at the CPC, you know, uh, Congress, we are going to be conversed also at the FOCAC. And uh, for Africa, we are looking at investments right now. How much investments can we still get from China? Would you advocate for African countries to embrace China's political model? There's a lot to borrow from, definitely from the Chinese system, and it is the whole uh, cultural aspect of it which works. Well, thank you very much, Mr. Ndegwa. It was good having you with us.